For the first time in history, a majority of the global population resides in urban areas. This rapid pace of urbanization complicates pandemic preparedness. Most of these viruses are bacteria that have pandemic potential. They start in animals. They're zoonotic diseases. And so this recipe of urbanization, globalization, and the right ecosystem, environmental ecosystem, is just setting us up for a spillover event. Meaning a virus spill that moves from an animal to humans. What all the success of connecting those areas to urban areas to promote the sale of goods, to promote the transport of people, also unfortunately promotes the transport of disease. If it's a disease spread by respiratory channels, that means many, many, many more people are exposed. And I mean, we saw that in SARS in Hong Kong. It would be catastrophic if we had a disease that spread more quickly or easily than most of what we've seen so far. Preparing for and fighting disease outbreaks enjoys widespread support, but structural criticisms of global health efforts remain. As the HIV AIDS threat subsided and we moved from a raging emergency to a system of chronic management of a chronic problem over a long period of time, people began to critique this and say, wait a second, is this an open-ended long-term entitlement that the American people have signed on to? We are living in a world where there's so many communicable diseases, Ebola, Zika, um, you take your pick. There is an absolute argument to be made for us intervening in those types of things. But that's a very, very different thing from making the argument that there should be some kind of a structural, long-term, open-ended commitment to funding programs when the donors don't have money. In HIV AIDS, we have a 57% of the total resources coming from domestic fund. That is showing that the transformation is happening, is not completely there. We need to push to make sure that more and more resources could come from domestic resources. Others question how global health priorities are set and how well we monitor those investments. Any big program that's handling billions of dollars isn't going to be perfect in the way that it uses every dollar. What we need to make sure of is that we're vigilant in uh, rooting out any misuse of funds and also asking ourselves where our approaches aren't working. We learn a lot from uh, fighting malaria, TB, HIV, AIDS, uh, but we cannot uh, create uh, for each uh, disease a new organization. We need to have a platform which will reinforce a systemic approach. When I look at other areas of development, I can see that in the global health area, we tended to evaluate less than other areas. We counted a lot of stuff, but we weren't showing what the attributable impact was of the money that we were spending. And I think now that's come to a head.